it's not Friday, so this is not going to be a Tactical Talks video, but this is a quick little video. Um, I wanted to put this together. A couple of months ago, I showed you guys the MMP that I had bought. It was a full-size 40. I got a really ridiculously good deal on it, so that's why I bought it. Um, I didn't have anything against the gun. I actually only went out and shot it once, um, but it was just not something that I wanted. It's just I buy stuff because I want it, and then every once in a while, I buy stuff just because the deal was too good. And I either find something to do with it or I end up selling it or trading it for something better. So that's pretty much what I ended up doing with that MMP. So I no longer have that gun. But with that being said, I wanted to show you guys after I got rid of that gun, what I have, you know, gotten with the money from that gun. So like I said, I saved a lot of money buying that gun, made more money when I sold it. And then I got the stuff that I have now for a really good deal. So I ended up on top. Um, as far as the things that I have, I didn't pay anywhere near what everything is actually worth. And like I said, I ended up getting more money back for the stuff that I sold. So it ended up working out in the long run. But the first thing that I got, I don't know how hard it's going to be to see this, is a Polymer 80. This is the uh, compact version. So if you guys look at this, it doesn't look like much. It's early, early stages. Like I said, I just got this in. Uh, for the guys that are on my Patreon, you guys have already seen this. I posted it, I think, last week that I had gotten it in the mail. And um, if you guys don't know what these are or don't know what anything about this, go ahead and check them out. They'll ship this straight to your door. When they ship it to you, it's 80% finished, hence the name uh, Polymer 80. So it's 80% done. you got to do 20% worth of milling and drilling. So there's little tabs up here that you got to mill off, and I milled those off already. And then all these little holes for the pins, um, you got to drill that stuff out. Now, it does come with the jig for you to do it, and it's actually made very, very simple. We'll see how this thing functions once I get it all together. But as far as right now, I mean, everything looks the way it's supposed to look. And I have a, a lower parts kit that's going to be coming in so that I can get the lower parts put in here. And then I'm going to order a custom slide. It's going to end up being a Glock 19 when it's all said and done. It's going to have a red dot. It's going to have a light. I already have the light coming. And uh, like I said, we'll upgrade the trigger. We'll do a magwell. And this will be a fully custom um, start to finish build that I put together. Now, this is going to be a small series during the uh, Tactical Talks segment. I am going to uh, sand all of this down. And I'm going to try stippling this by myself for the first time. So it is going to be a whole series now. The way YouTube works, I'm not going to be able to walk you guys through this step by step on how to do this or how to install some of this stuff. But you are, you guys are going to be able to see the progress that I'm making on this. And like I said, we'll uh, we'll come up with the title for that little segment and everything. So that was kind of the first deal. If you want to buy like a fully complete Glock lower, you end up paying way more than what I paid for this. I ended up buying this on sale, and. Uh, like I said, I, I paid next to nothing for this. So this technically is one firearm. After I sold the MMP, I ended up with one firearm. But that's not all I ended up with. I also bought this. So this has flip up in bus sights. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is an AR-15 style MMP-1522. This is the Gen 2. So... I'm going to be doing a video on this, um, probably like a first mag impression, go out and shoot this thing. This magazine does hold um, 25 rounds as opposed to an actual AR holding standard is 30 rounds, um, at least the magazines that I have. But this thing is set up almost exactly like a regular AR-15. I mean, it's a little bit lighter. I think this thing weighs around five pounds. As opposed to, I think, uh, a stock AR-15 is somewhere around 7 pounds. So you save about 2 pounds in this thing. The version 2 has this M-Lock handguard. The version 1 has Picatinny rail all the way around it. Um, the other change that they made was the version 1 had these big old sights on it. Just kind of big, bulky, didn't fold down, didn't flip out of the way. Version 2 has the Magpul M-Bus sights. And... You can usually find these MBUS sites on sale, but when they're not on sale, these are usually about a $100 sight set up already. So that was kind of cool that they threw that on. I went ahead and threw on 
this uh, Magpul, I think this is the CTR buttstock. I just had this laying around, so I went ahead and threw that on there. But this 22 can take any AR um, pistol grips, buttstocks, triggers, not necessarily the handguards because there's a special little nut in there. Now you can buy an adapter to switch them out, but I really like how this feels. I've never been a huge M-Lock person, um, but I really like how that feels. It feels nice, smooth, easy, I mean, easy to grab. I may end up doing maybe like a handguard up here, a little hand stop, but other than that, I'm not gonna do a lot to this. I do wanna change out this birdcage, and that's just gonna be for um, aesthetics. This thing is not gonna have any recoil, it being a 22, so I don't necessarily need to change out a muzzle device to uh, you know compensate for that or to slow down any of the recoil or the uh, kickback from this. So if I do, or when I do, change out the muzzle device, it's simply gonna be for aesthetics, just to give it a little more aggressive look. But I think it looks good. I think not a bad deal. Like I said, I bought that M&P um, full size 40 just because it was there, just because I got a really good deal on it. And I mean, technically I ended up getting two firearms for getting rid of one. So this is a full polymer upper and lower. This butt or this uh, buffer tube doesn't come off. It's all one big old piece in here. But like I said, the way it's designed, is any buttstock that you can fit on an AR will fit on this. Um, it's got the pins just like a regular AR. You can push pins in, knock it down. I'm not gonna take the whole thing apart right now. Like I said, I am gonna do a more in-depth video on this. Compare this to an actual AR. Let you, know, let you guys know how it feels as far as compared to an actual AR. And we'll get a little bit more in depth on why I bought this. So I think it was a good buy. So like I said, I came out on top, got rid of that MMP. For those of you guys that were looking forward to um, MMP upgrades or you know updates and stuff, sorry. Like I said, no longer have it. Didn't really want it. Nothing against the gun. I'm just not an MMP guy. I'm more of a Glock guy. So that's why I went with something like this. Now, this isn't actually Glock, but it fits all Glock components. So it's going to essentially end up being another Glock. And I'm a huge AR guy. So... Why not get another AR chambered in 22? This is going to be a lot cheaper to go out and shoot and practice with than it is uh, for me taking out my actual ARs, my AR-15s, and shooting 556 or 223. So let me know what you guys think. Did I make a good deal? That that I come out on top? I mean, money-wise, I did. I ended up not just saving money, but kind of making money on this whole deal. But do you you guys think it was a good trade? One pistol for essentially a pistol and a uh, a rifle so that's kind of a quick update i'll see you guys friday on tactical talks thank you guys for checking out my channel make sure to subscribe like comment down below if you guys have any questions check the links down in the description um, my merch store is on there my podcast is on there new hats and stuff those that stuff's going to be coming soon so let me know if you guys like that kind of stuff and i'll get more stuff for you guys so thanks for watching we'll see you on friday